Hey guys and welcome to my channel! Today I'm going to show you how to make a mini pavlova dessert. This elegant and easy to make dessert has baked meringue base filled with passion fruit curd with white chocolate topped with slightly sweet whipped cream and fresh mango that no one can resist. To make the meringue we'll need egg whites at room temperature, sugar, cornstarch and lemon juice. The exact amount of ingredients can be found below this video. In a stand mixer bowl, place the egg whites and start whisking at the low speed of your mixer, gradually increasing the speed. We need to achieve a foamy consistency. I want to remind you that anything that touches the egg whites, like the mixing bowl and whisk attachment, have to be very clean and dry, so no residual oil or fat is left behind to disturb or deflate the meringue. Next, decrease the speed to medium and slowly add in the sugar, one tablespoon at a time. It's best to use caster sugar with fine crystals. The sugar will slowly melt and the mixture will become glossy and dense. The right ratio of ingredients for the meringue is one part of egg whites for two parts of sugar. If you want to get great results every time, don't change the proportions. You can check the meringue by rubbing a bit of the meringue between your fingers to make sure there are no undissolved sugar crystals left. Once all the sugar has been added, pour in the lemon juice. The lemon juice helps balance the sweetness of the meringue and helps create a more stable meringue. Next, sift in the cornstarch and whisk the meringue on your mixer's medium speed until you start to see holes forming on the surface. As you can see, the meringue turned out very dense and glossy with a clear beak. To pipe the meringue, I'll be using a large piping bag fitted with a large closed star piping tip. Put the piping bag with the piping tip attached into the glass, put the edges of the piping bag over the sides of the glass and fill it with the meringue mixture. It is very important to use good quality parchment paper to avoid the meringue sticking to the paper. You can also use a silicone or teflon mat. To pipe the meringue nest, start by piping a dot, then in one continuous motion go around the dot to make a bigger circle, and then go around again on top of the outer circle to make the sides. When piping the meringue nest, make sure to leave some space between each nest as they will spread when they are baked. From the specified amount of ingredients, I piped 10 meringue nests about 3 inch wide and a few small meringue cookies. To bake the meringue, preheat the oven to 280 degrees Fahrenheit and place the baking sheet inside and reduce the heat to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for about an hour and 40 minutes. Then turn off the oven, slightly open the oven's door and let the meringue cool completely inside the oven. Baked meringue nests should stay white and easy to peel from the baking sheet. They are very light and have a clear pattern from the piping tip. They also have a crisp outside and slightly chewy texture on the inside. This is one of my meringue cookies that I will break to show you the texture inside. Let the meringue nest cool completely and in the meantime we can prepare our filling. To fill my mini pavlova nests, I am going to use the passion fruit curd with white chocolate. To see my video tutorial on how to make it, follow the link below this video. I will also make whipped cream and use chopped mango pieces with mint leaves to decorate the dessert. Combine the powdered sugar and cold heavy whipping cream. Using a hand mixer, beat them together until stiff peaks form. Be careful not to overbeat the cream. I'm using a small amount of powdered sugar since the meringue is very sweet, but you can adjust the sweetness of the whipped cream to your liking. Transfer the topping into a piping bag fitted with any large piping tip. I'm using the same closed start piping tip. To assemble the dessert, fill the meringue cavity with passion fruit curd. Then pipe the whipped cream and finish with some chopped mango and mint leaves. Mm -hmm. 
this elegant and delicate dessert is ready. I'll cut one and half to show you how it looks inside. Sweet and crispy shell, delicate and smooth passion fruit curd, light and fluffy whipped cream and slightly sour pieces of mango make it a mouth-watering dessert. This dessert is also very handy because the meringue can be prepared in advance, placed in an airtight container and stored in a dry place for up to 10 days. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspires you to make this gorgeous mini pavlova dessert. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.